Okay, so this is immediately following that other video, but I'm gonna take you along for my ride today. So today is Vlogmas video dos, and today I got up at uh, 12.30, I got in late. Um, I didn't get in late, I got in about three o'clock and then I just passed out yesterday afternoon after working so hard all week. So I just got up, I've had some breakfast, I'll insert that clip here. And now I'm actually going to try and put my life together after working like a crazy woman all week. I wore everything I coach in and own this past week, so I washed my clothes last night. I washed my tennis shoes because they were gross. And now I'm going to clean up my life. And then I have a friend's uh, yoga class tonight. I'm super excited for, especially after not moving really the last four weeks. It's going to be really excited. So that's one thing I'm really going to focus on these next couple weeks is to really get back in, into being active and work out again on a consistent basis because now that my um, bandwidth is a little bit uh, more forgiven than it has been I can really focus on getting back into the swing of things and, and into that routine so I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride today so cheers to that how to know you're behind on cleaning there's sprouts growing in the rag that keeps the drips going into the sink. Oh dear, time to change the rag. into a little bit of a gist day so I'm trying to get everything clean after like four weeks of not so this is a little bit of my mess right now clean clothes everything out of the backpack backpack pajamas that need to be washed clean clothes this right here is a hot mess express that's gonna take like two weeks but we're gonna get it done need to make the bed need to change the sheets clean all this up this is not too bad, but a little bit of a sweep and folding wouldn't be bad. And then we gotta continue to do laundry. So let's get to it. and some music. So, it's been a week since Thanksgiving and I still haven't unpacked my suitcase from Thanksgiving and put the clean clothes away that I've done. Those are all textbooks for school in addition to half of those over there. So let's put this away, put this away and see what we can do about that and then put this pile in its home. Here. <laughs> okay, so things are significantly better now. Let me show you. I have nothing on the floor that's not supposed to be on the floor. The desk is mildly tamed. It's going to need a little more help. Pile is gone. Everything's in the wash. Bed is made. The comforter will be back. 
Everything's put away. My coaching clothes are all where they're supposed to be. These are my shoes in a slightly organized mess pile. And then I have everything in the closet where it's supposed to go. And then I have started packing some of my stuff off the bookshelves. So it's coming along nicely. So now I'm gonna turn around for good light because you know, I'm a YouTuber in training here. And we're gonna go to a yoga class that my friend is teaching. So let's go. I forget to mention while I was cleaning, I actually cleaned the kitchen, started the laundry, swept and did several loads of laundry and cleaned both the bathrooms. So when I clean, I kind of go through and like, I guess group different types of cleaning activities together. So that way I'm not like running back and forth doing one thing and another when I can like group similar cleaning items together. So batching, that's the word I'm looking for, batching them together. So now we're gonna go and this is what I'm wearing to yoga. I don't know if you can see this very well. I don't have really another mirror in this room. Let's see if it'll focus. So I'm wearing a Buff Bunny a high neck top, Lululemon, Lululemon pants and then I have flip flops. Those are fit flops. Um, one thing I really love is I love to wear high waisted pants because I like how that makes me feel. It also, um, you know, when you do this, it kind of segments you a little bit more. So, which is fine. So I love a high waist because it kind of pulls everything in. It fits better in my butt's not showing off. And also it makes my figure look good. But you know, I'm also both versions of myself and I'm okay with both versions. So that's okay. Onward to yoga we go. I love my car. We had to sell the Jeep because it was hurting me. But Miss Fazba, Fazma needs a bath bad. So we're gonna try to get that done this week sometime. So that way she's shiny. Yes, I am that nerd that has Star Wars sun visors. Haha. Ha. <laughs> Ever is donuts. Donuts? Donuts? Yep. Where's the pizzas? Pizza. Oh, okay. What are you getting? I don't know. The first time here. Huh? Pizza topping choices with Jeb, Andrea, and Claire. Right? Hello. Yes. So we're here. Come on. Focus. Don't trade it. No. Don't trade it. And it has to remain on you, apparently. So. It's a very good. Okay, 
so I am back home from the yoga practice. Yes, I am standing in the closet because this has the best lighting in the middle of the night here, which is 7 freaking 30 in the afternoon. Blech. Anyway, so yoga practice was amazing. Kaylee did a fabulous job. So this is a workshop she had to host as part of her um training in order to get her yoga certification so her workshop was all about managing stress how to root yourself into your breath so you can focus on it and bring um, your focus on the things you can control rather than the things you can't control so it was a fabulous workshop i highly recommend that everybody try yoga at some point especially one that's led by an instructor because it's just it changes your experience entirely versus doing something via YouTube or a magazine because you're getting guided through the process and you're not sitting there thinking like, okay, what am I supposed to do next? And flipping through a magazine or pausing the video or whatever the case may be, you'll have somebody there to help you. So I feel like that was a very worthwhile experience. And then afterwards I went and had dinner with, um, Jeb, Andrea, and Clay, uh, some friends from school, and we went and had pizza at Urbana, which was amazing. It's a little local deli downtown Corpus Christi. I think it's only been open for like a year or so, but they have really fabulous food and it's very affordable and I highly recommend it um, as one of the pizza places here in um, Corpus Christi to try out. So I am going to finish cleaning a couple things. I'm going to work on editing this vlog and then I'm going to get up and get ready for tomorrow. I wanted to show you my shoes by the way. I just got them out of the washing machine. Um, they are so clean. They were so dirty. I had like brown toes and this was all brown and everything. So it's amazing what happens when you throw your shoes in the washing machine. Um, and I don't dry them. I just let them air dry. And I just put them on the cold cycle. This time it did take two washes to get them all clean. But they look so much better than what they did. So, But I'm going to clean up and edit this vlog and... I'm saying the same thing I already told you. Well, I'm getting used to this whole vlogging thing again. Anyway, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.